Our third game, New Kingdom Sowers, is a, a modern twist on some sort of classic card games. So you have identical decks. You choose a character, either Priscilla or Aquila, and you look at the, those, those cards. There's 10 black seeds, 10 yellow seeds. Your goal is to get your 10 black seeds into your good soil in ascending order, one through 10. Like the game of Rummy, if you ever have a run of cards, you can just play those all at once to your good soil. So I play a run of three cards, one, two, three, I can play those in the good soil. Start making my way to 10. This is a race against your opponent who's also trying to get their black seed cards in one to 10. So how do you beat them? Well, you have to manipulate your deck. One way that you can do that is by placing black seeds in thorny soil. If you do, you get to draw three cards off of the deck and then put four back, either on top or on bottom in any order that you would like. You can also uh, play, but if you do this, this card gets trapped here. How do you get that card out? Well, you get that card out by playing yellow seeds to the path. If I play a yellow seed card here, I can draw a card and then that allows me to optionally pick up a card that's been placed somewhere else on the board. Now there is some player interaction in this, this other spot here, the rocky soil. This is one of the most valuable actions in the game. I don't want to discard all my yellow seed cards because I want to free some up to play here in rocky soil. Rocky soil plays in descending order from 10 to one and you can skip or you can just start with the highest card. So you can start with a 10, you could also start with a seven. From a seven, you could play a four, you could play a three, you could play a two. I'm gonna start with a five. If I play a five there, I draw two cards off the deck and then I can play cards in another of the soil types on the map. Let's play it on the path. That'll allow me to draw an additional card. And if I had something stuck in thorny soil, I could pick that up. This game is what I like to call a delightfully frustrating puzzle because not only are you playing against your opponent, but you're playing against yourself. There's only one way to win, but several ways to lose. So be careful about getting two out ahead because if you're not careful about managing your deck, you could find yourself losing the game. It's a game that sets up in a minute. It teaches in about three, and you're playing in 10, a 15 minute game, almost all of the time. I've never played it that somebody doesn't want to say, hey, let's shuffle and try that again. So those are our games, New Kingdom Gaming, Kingdoms of the Earth. Again, my name is Jack Dunbar. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you're interested in any of our games, you can find us at www.newkingdomgaming.com or you can just look me up, Jack Dunbar. I'm the owner. You can find me in many places. Uh, but thank you. I hope you had a great Gen Con and God bless.